Well, today this beautiful, sweet little girl turns one year old after surviving a crime that no child should ever have to endure. Back in January, her father shot and killed her mother, kidnapped her, and later ambushed CMPD officers. Police returned fire and killed her dad. Well, now one year old Journey and her brother and sister are all living with their grandmother, but they're still dealing with that emotional trauma. They lost their mother. You know, none of us can ever replace her or fill that void in their life. Their grandmother opened up only to Channel 9 about the toll this is taking on their family every day. Eyewitness News reporter Tina Terry learned how the family is doing now and the fight they're still facing. Well, yeah, guys, you'll remember this case played out in the national news, but it is not until tonight that we are learning about the three little kids all under the age of 10 who will have to live life without their mother. I do have them and they keep me going. They give me that extra strength. These precious children have endured a lot. In January, Little Journey and three-year-old Juliana were in their West Charlotte home with their mom, Brittany White. Police say Jonathan Bennett, White's estranged boyfriend, shot and killed Brittany right in front of the girls, then kidnapped his daughter, Journey, who was just a few months old at the time. Brittany's mom, Tamika Taylor, told me three-year-old Brianna still remembers that day. As he left her there and when she screamed, you know, uh, what did you do to my mommy? He tells her, your mommy's dead. Hours later, Bennett ambushed police at CMPD headquarters. They returned fire, killing him. On FaceTime, Taylor told me her family rushed to Charlotte to get the girls, but authorities wouldn't release them, and they were quickly placed in foster care. It didn't matter that I'm Brittany's mom, that those are my grandchildren and that they needed to be with family at that time. After four months, the girls are finally reunited with Taylor and their eight-year-old brother, Jeremiah, in Pittsburgh. She's their foster parent, but is fighting for full custody, a battle legal experts say she could win. Especially if the children have grown up together or had a significant period of time together. In the meantime, Taylor has questions about the violence she says her daughter endured at the hands of Bennett. Before the murder, Brittany filed for a restraining order against against him, saying he strangled and abused her. But Taylor is fighting to focus on those little kids, pieces of her daughter, the youngest, who she says is the spitting image of her mom. She's my little Brittany. She looks just like Brittany did when she was little. She has Brittany's ways. And Taylor told me that there are others who have expressed taking custody of the girls. There is a hearing scheduled in December where she will learn more about their future. Reporting live at CMPD headquarters, Tina Terry, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.